and this edit is not any slower than this. You can see that when I edit this, I can hold my mouse in the center of the screen at a very small rotation. I almost just have to, I have a little spasm in my hand and I just go, Bleh. where is this? Same deal with this, but anyways. Hi, my name is Machine Head and this is Understanding Fortnite. And today I'm going to talk about the right hand peek and also the lesser known, kind of more dangerous left peek that you can still do, even though it's obviously not as good. So first of all, why does the right hand peek work? First of all, it's very similar to the jump peek. I'm able to get crosshair placement. You can also input an action that he must react to because I can just time this shot and then he must react to it. This peak also has the benefit of being totally in control of when you go back behind cover. With the jump peak, um, you're kind of at the mercy of yourself falling to bring yourself behind cover where this, um, you can get back behind cover much quicker. Um, this peak is much better in trades where people are less likely to die in one shot and you're more likely to receive damage back. So I'm just going to go over the mechanics and how to peek properly. And first, I like to hug the wall um, just to start. What this does is um, it gives me a lot more vision of everything, especially if I'm behind a flat wall like this. Um, if I had a wall here, I can see um, a lot behind here with the wall being totally covered, um, where if I was back here, it's just still holding the same angle to protect, but I, I can't see as much. Um, my screen can kind of reach over there, but it's this is still much better. And when I peek, instead of just going side to side, when I make the peek, I actually walk out diagonal a bit. It's great because you get all this vision, but um, your shot is kind of eaten by the wall. So what I do to counter that is I kind of walk out diagonal. So I'm taking a step back. So I'm in the same position right here. I shoot, the wall does not take damage. I line my crosshair back up where it was, like this. And I walk back. And you can see the wall did take more damage just because I took that one step back. Um, so yeah, it's basically, you can get an easier um, shot off if you just walk diagonal out. The next part is your unpeak. I see some people when they peek, they kind of do this like turn thing where they go totally this way. Um, I don't like to take my screen off my opponent for very long. So when I peek, I kind of just, I go out. But then when I peek back in, I kind of hold diagonal again. I hold both the W and A and I kind of just like move my mouse in quickly like this. So it's kind of just a compromise of speed and visibility. So I'm just going to go over your edit peak options. You have your windows, pretty self-explanatory. You have this, like I showed in the jump peak video. Um, you can use this as a jump, you can use this as a jump peak, but you can also right peak this. Um, I have this. Now this is, that's just kind of like a compromise for this. So I don't like this peak because your vision and your gun are always blocked and your feet are always exposed. To have your feet not exposed, you have to walk all the way over here, but then you just literally can't see anything. I like to use this better. I can see more and my feet are not exposed. And this edit is not any slower than this. You can see that when I edit this, I can hold my mouse in the center of the screen at a very small rotation. I almost just have to, I have a little spasm in my hand and I just go, Bleh. whereas this, same deal with this, but anyways. Another peak that people don't think about a lot is just opening it this way and then using another wall as your peak angle. The more peaks that you know, the more unpredictable you can be as well. So like I mentioned, these window peaks are getting pretty predictable at this point. That's probably like the oldest form of um, like edit peaking there is. And make sure you have all of these practiced in your arsenal. If I get a cone and a floor above somebody, I can use this. This ramp in Florida is also good if you come. You can do the kind of the same deal. Another right hand peek you can do is using um, a ramp like this from low ground. If somebody is way above you, like up there, I guess, you can use this as a right hand peek. Another right hand peek you can do is if you're in a turtle versus turtle scenario, you can edit your ramp like this and edit your wall like this. This is also very good if they own the wall because um, often they will do some sort of edit, whatever it is, and basically just try and get a shot off and then you can kind of have this nice protected angle right here. There's a few ways I like to edit the wall with this um, ramp edit and that's like this. Um, the only problem is, is if they're in the corner, you kind of have to leave your ramp protection to get them and then they can also do this kind of um, 
not as good, but like this kind of left hand um, jump peak with this angle. The other way I like to edit this is with this edit, like I showed before. And this is much better. I'm using the ramp as cover and I have a lot more vision. Um, but using this ramp, they can kind of still do these peaks like this that may catch you off guard if you're not ready. The next thing I want to show is the left hand peak. Um, this is not used as much and people don't seem to favor it because if you look, I have to expose my entire body if I want to get the shot off. Whereas if I'm peeking here, only my gun side really has to poke out and I'm exposing only part of my body. If I'm going to take a left peek, the way I like to do it is I like to jump out. The reason this works is because it's very hard to anticipate the angle of which I'm going to show up because it's never consistent. Regardless of what side my weapon is on, I'm still inputting an action that they have to react to. So it follows the same principle as the jump peek. The only problem with this is, is when I'm out here, I either have to re-edit whatever I'm using, or if there is no wall, I'm going to have to build some sort of protection. So I can actually edit out and then build a ramp to cover him, or possibly catch myself with a ramp too. That would also work. I would say that this is more reliable in a situation where you have a health advantage because it's never guaranteed that you're going to shoot first in this situation, but it is a way to get a shot off and maybe catch them off guard. So that's all I wanted to show in this video, um, thanks.